is uh, 450 for our four hours and 50 minutes into the day of November 2nd it's a Monday uh, 2020 and we're ending the vlog the very long weekend vlog uh, it's going to be a longer vlog because we I was able to do get some scooting and we got a road we got a road trip in so that's going to be a road trip video uh, didn't go anywhere special just to my parents house but still uh, I think um, uh, changing up the pace for a bit and vlogging on the scooter is uh, something that's uh, going to happen more and more. It was another first for me, as I stated in the video. Uh, I'm trying uh, weather where it's wet on the ground to see what the grip is like uh, uh, in sort of uh, sort of in, in inclement weather, inclement weather, or where the conditions aren't as good as it would be if it were dry outside. Uh, in other words, I'm trying to get get the scooter to the point where it's an all, all sort of, almost an all weather type of uh, a, a scooter, uh, a vehicle. So uh, I can vlog, I can uh, ride it more often than not. So that's the, the goal here. Still in learning mode, still going very slowly. Uh, I'm, I'm not in my top speed. Is well, not very slow. I'm going I'm going 25 kilometers an hour. That's my top speed. There are other gears. Where I can make it go faster if I wanted to, but I'm not doing that right now. I want to give myself uh, probably till April a good a good uh, six months worth of practice before I, I pick up the speed. I was watching, I was watching um, it, uh, it's our life uh, last night. Well, what I consider to be last night, anyways. Uh, and uh, uh, Evie got a new car. And as a driver, she's very nervous, and because well, she's a she's a new driver, and what happens having people behind you in terms of a car? She was she was freaking out because there was a car behind her, and she's going slowly, and she was worried that, that you know she's blocking traffic. Well, imagine having a bus behind you or or, or, or other larger vehicles, and, and it's a very daunting thing. And, and sometimes people don't realize that you need to give the scooter. As much room uh, to, when you're passing them as you would a car, because uh, the the amount of distance between yourself and the scooter uh, can e can be easily misjudged uh, from the perspective of the car. And if you're if you if, if you're if the type of driver, this these are the type of drivers who do this. These are the anxious drivers. They squeeze in and out. They drive they drive like they're on a racetrack. And they actually, I've seen some of them. I've been with some of them, uh, and they're actually they're, they're they're these are people who are wearing racing gloves, <laughs> and they believe that they're in a race. They're in a uh, a, 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 a uh, what I got a rally car, and they're doing this sort of cross country from well, from point A to point B rally because they're going from one place to another, and. They kind of sque they, they squeeze in and out of lanes between cars. They don't give you enough. There's, there, there isn't enough distance. They go right up to the bumper, psh, right up to the bumper, boom. You know, s s slide out, just past the bumper, the front wheel, and slide back in again. That's not good driving because what if uh, you always have to leave a margin of error. What if something? This, the other thing is, what if something goes wrong? What if something happens? Do you have enough braking distance? Can you control the situation if something goes wrong? And the answer is, if you're cutting it out like that, you don't have enough room. And one of the guys I know who ha who, who, dri who drives like that, he lost his car. Uh, he had a very nice car, but he drove it to death. And now he's got some uh, smaller beater and stuff like that because uh, uh, he doesn't have enough money to get the, the nicer car like he had before. As far as, you know, understandably he's a little upset because he doesn't have the good car. He doesn't have the good car the way he had before. And this is, this is kind of what we call it sour grapes. I don't know why they call it, well, why they call it sour grapes. It's just that, you know, I will call it more of you know, like a sourpuss or a sucker face uh, after eating something uh, not so I guess but like like lemons. You have a lemons, you get the you get the the, the, the or, or uh, 
uh, sour, uh, sour, uh, sour gummy worms. Uh, you get the pucker afterwards, like, and that's the face they would. They're not. They're not happy. And I said but the people who are who have this anxiety are not necessarily happy people. But the thing is, this is, in many cases, the way a lot of people are: is that they believe they should have things in life that. Uh, uh, that are due to them. This is, the view is things that are due to them. They have earned these things. They have earned in a position as compared to others that they should have more than this person or that person. I understand why I am such a person, person that I have this standard. I have that standard. And yet other people who are beneath me have more than I do. Well, that leads, that makes for a very sad life. And again, this is the reason why a lot of people, these people don't have that, is one, they let their anxieties get to them, and two, uh, their perspective on life. And the third part I find often not, these people don't have any per, uh, perseverance. They don't stick to things that they need to stick to. They find something boring and say, well, bye. And I think, unfortunately, there's a lot of people like that. Anyways, uh, this is the phrase we would bring in. It doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. Uh, no refunds. We're moving forward. Perseverance. Well, it looks as if you're going to get another scooter vlog today. Uh, it is 6 hours and 23 minutes into Monday, November 2nd, uh, 2020. Tomorrow is Election Day, November 3rd. And it looks like you're going to get another scooter vlog. Uh, it, the, the, there is just a little bit of snow on the ground. Not much. Uh, I'm pretty sure by this afternoon it will clear up. Uh, even if it doesn't, the uh, ti the treads on the tires for the scooter seem to be pretty good because it also it's not only rated as com commuter, but it's also rated as off road as well. So, uh, with a little bit of snow on the ground, it shouldn't make much of a difference. So we will be scooting again today. This will be again another first to uh, see if we can scoot in all weathers. Uh, it really depends. It, it, a lot of times, it depends on. The uh, the slipperiness of the road conditions that is where the uh, factor comes in and uh, well I'm still learning I would like to try to is it I'm, I'm still learning so I'd like to try to sort of uh, practice at the lower speeds uh, in these types of conditions so that's where things are going right now that's where they are. Uh, I just finished uh, about an hour and a half worth of uh, gaming and meditation. I am now moving over to the back room, to the back research desk, to do about an hour, an hour and a half uh, worth of uh, posting. I have to do some publishing to the to the, uh, the to the blogs. I have to fix those up with just a little bit. There's a little bit more work to do, be done. I should edit another video and then get it up. Uh, I'm going to be doing this week, I'm doing two vlogs a day. Editing and posting two vlogs a day. Uh, I'm vlogging every day. It's just the editing that kind of falls off every now and again. It really depends on what's going on and how I've kind of sort of set things up. There's, there's always ways of improving the speed, the efficiency of what you're doing. And sometimes you have to, take a, you have to stop and sort of take a, uh, a breather and reassess, basically reassess uh, the way you do things in order to make it more efficient. Uh, and that's sort of what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm taking, a, a, I had done this over the weekend. Uh, I took a bit of a break. I uh, did some uh, uh, reviews on what I've done, uh, how the vlogs are, and then how I post the vlogs. Uh, so, and I've made some adjustments so that I actually found that ways to make things faster, to get up faster, to uh, take less effort, and so that means I can do more, and this maybe if I can shave off, right now we're at three weeks, if I can shave off an extra week and give myself two weeks leeway on the vlogs, that would be good. 
And then if I see things are going well enough, this go down to one week. But I think one week is going to be it because that is kind of pushing it. Every vo you hear a lot of times in vloggers talk about, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Why? Because the thought of doing the vlogs, the editing that comes with it, uh, is daunting because it's every single day. It's not there is no time off from the vlogging, and it has to be done uh, within the flow of everything else you do during the day. So, in other words, is part of it, it needs to become part of your daily routine, particularly if you're a daily vlogger. And that's always a difficult thing to do because you're not always on twenty four seven. There are days, many days, where you're off. And now, ironically enough, I'm pretty much awake, uh, and it's, it's 6.30 in the morning, and I'm feeling better than I've felt in months, but that's because I've been taking a little time off here and there, not a lot of time off, but a couple hours a day here, a couple hours a day there, and doing that has made the difference, so, anyways, uh, probably won't get It is Tuesday, November 3rd, uh, 2020. It's election day. That's right. It's six hours and 25 minutes into November 3rd. That's uh, six, just about 6.30 a.m. And we're going to end the vlog for Tuesday, for Monday, actually. Uh, I was supposed to do uh, go by scooter yesterday, but my body just wasn't feeling well enough to do that. Uh, uh, I had a, a bit of an issue uh, with my sleep, so it didn't provide for the necessary alertness to go by by scooter. Uh, I am planning to today. Doesn't seem to be any weather issues. What the only issue that that's still going to be a learning curve is it's. Uh, just at the freezing mark, so that might that me will mean that there are patches of ice that I have to be careful for, or seemingly uh, uh, seemingly patches of ice. In other words, it could be liquid, but it could also be frozen as well. So uh, you really have to approach these uh, uh, these puddles, uh, depending on how deep they are and, and, and what the dimensions are. You have to be careful approaching, and uh, is it? still in the learning phase of the next learning phase now when I ride is that because it is colder out uh, I find I'm going to need thicker gloves I do have a thicker pair of gloves that are very form fitting uh, they do, uh, I, here's how I determine how a glove works a glove is too thick to function when you can't pull the keys out of your pocket and open the door if with the wear, when you're wearing gloves, if you can pull the keys out of your pocket, open the fi find the key you want, and open the door, the gloves are fine. They're functional. Particularly, and then the second test is if it's because it gets cold outside, you need something to wipe your nose or to blow your nose to sort of keep the uh, nasal passages clear. If you can do both those things with uh, the gloves, then the gloves are sh are sufficient uh, for the scooter. It's simply getting a matter. It's simply a matter of getting used to the feel of the glove on the accelerator. Because you, uh, the way it works, the scooters work. Uh, a lot of bikes will have the handlebar grip. Uh, that's your throttle. Some of them will actually have uh, the uh, the braking mechanism. That will be the throttle. That's the, the, those are the two primary options for a throttle on a motorcycle. On the scooter, the one that I have is not the grip or the, the uh, or the uh, 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 braking mechanism, but rather there is a uh, spring-loaded mechanism uh, for the index finger, and you press it down on a, on a circular path uh, with your index finger, and that's what sort of uh, you know just, just not cover my face. So here's the index finger, here's your middle finger, uh, and it goes around the corner like that. It goes around a sort of a circular edge, and so this is what is is the accelerator. So when you hear me going, eh, 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 it's the accelerator. Now the thing is, because it's electronic, there's a delay between 
the pressing of the button between the, 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 the accelerator and the actual motion itself. And that's what causes the, the, the initial startup jerks is that there is, it's not a smooth acceleration from zero to whatever. It is a partial acceleration, and but the, the delay occurs maybe one or two, you'll see it, you'll hear it, it's about one or two seconds, and then it kicks in and off it goes. And the thing is that if you lose your attention span at that particular, you know, one or two seconds, you're, you're just sort of out. It catches you unaware, and <laughs> uh, it, it creates that issue, that, that jerky motion. But again, this is something that will sort of disappear as I learn. The more I learn uh, about the squirter, the more I practice, the better I'll get. And so this is yet another step forward. Uh, I, was, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but um, the way things ended up working out yesterday, it just simply wasn't uh, where I needed to be in terms of my physical alertness, in terms of my awareness, and the fatigue within my body, just this distance, that, okay, no, you're not, and, and this is it, you have to be, your, your body has to be there, your body has to be sort of uh, in the sort of zone, if you will, uh, to get the job done, because otherwise, if you don't do that, uh, that's when you uh, come into risk of uh, having an accident or doing significant significantly more damage to your body. I, mean, I am getting the, the safety clothes. There are riding pants. There are riding boots. I have makeshift stuff, but they're not sufficient. Uh, if I if something goes wrong at uh, 50 kilometers an hour, it's not sufficient to help me at all. So I need something that, that, that is more functional uh, to go to the higher speeds, and it's going to take me a while. It probably I will, probably won't have all the clothing I need, all the the, the accessories I need uh, in order to get to the the, the uh, higher end of the 55 mark uh, and the, the, uh, that's where the traffic is the traffic is at between 55 and 60 uh, there are some who are doing 80 on the road there they should be doing 80 but they do it anyways but you have to deal with everything that's on the road it doesn't matter whether you, you it's not about your rights or anything like that it's about being safe safety has nothing to do with rights Safety is, in many cases, if someone has the right of way, but there you see that they're an anxious. They, they pull up to the stop sign fast. They have a, they they, they have a, a, a sharp motion braking. They're an anxious person. So if you pull up at the same time, even though you may have the right of way, you go. You just wave them through because it takes a couple seconds. They go through. They're happy because they get to do whatever they want to do. They get to their so-called places faster. I, I have timed it up between uh, when my dad used to drive me back and forth, and some, uh, or someone else, or I'd take an Uber, Uber, and the the, the the actual driving time is the same in terms, but in terms of waiting for an Uber and stuff like that, it takes you longer to go from my place to my parents' place by Uber. Uh, so what happens is that the ten seconds you may wait to wave somebody on for issues of safety. You know, yielding your right of way, it's it's more than worth it. It's, it's ten seconds. But a lot of people, it's, if, if they they're high they're high anxiety, they have this anxiety about them that sort of creates these issues, and then that's what's going to happen. That's how they're going to approach uh, the problem that they're in. That they oh, here's we're two people, and I want to go. I'm anxious, so you let the person go. And it is. This is an issue of perseverance, because it keep, keeps you going, regardless of how you feel about yourself. You have to be in somewhat of an, a half decent uh, uh, condition in terms of your m mental awareness, your alertness, and the physical condition. Once you have, once you've gone through those barriers and, and everything kind of lines up, then it, it, it's, it's simply an issue. Of, that's where perseverance kicks in. Because there is anticipation that says, I don't want to do this, because there's a lot of fear. Well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? Once you have the base conditions down that where you know you're safe, then you push forward. That's perseverance. And what you see this, you see this in the Yali vlogs. You see this with, with all the people in the Yali vlogs. All, even the kids now understand perseverance. But kids primarily understand perseverance. They'll continue with something like games or whatever. Uh, they'll continue on, can you continue on until they're actually pulled off uh, the device uh, and told stop. <laughs> and the thing is, you have to pull them off the device because 
if you simply tell them, they're going to continue. So don't worry, wait, 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 five more minutes, five more minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm almost done. And two hours later, if you haven't pulled them off the device, they're still going at it. <laughs> but, but this is it. This is... This behavior, this nature, is common to all of us. It's not specifically for kids. But the thing is, that's 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 perseverance. What happens as we go, as we get older, we tend to sort of fall off. We tend to not, not have that level of perseverance that we had as, when we were younger. So, wow, I should have done this when I was younger. I should have done that when I was younger. You know, looking back and wondering why their life has taken the wrong turn it has. Well, simply because maybe you should have persevered through things that you kind of gave up on because, well, there was some anxiety that you didn't like and so I'm going to stop it now. I'm not going to go through the struggle. I'm not going to persevere. And you, and you back off. Again, it's, it, it, you may term it in terms of value or oh, it wasn't really worth it, but the reality is it's anxiety over perseverance. This is what defeats you. And that's why I say, and you know, this is sort of pops in my head all the time because I've had people tell me that you know they regret meeting me, and so I said, "Well, it's fine, no refunds." You know, so that's the, my, my value is no longer worth it, and my refrain is no no refunds. And that's kind of how I sort of started off as as because I watched the Yogi vlog almost every day. Uh, that's kind of how I responded to uh, their statements. <laughs>